corporate sponsors? Yes, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say I don't want it to be, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid, yeah. It's the sponsors Olympics, definitely. Yeah. They've, they've got huge access to tickets. There's been legislation passed at national level to prevent any form of competition for any of their brands. I found it absolutely ridiculous when people have stopped taking a bottle of Pepsi into, a, into an Olympic venue where you're not allowed to go in with the wrong shoes on because it's not an Olympic sponsor, etc, etc. It's, it's a real shame. I went to see the, um, the torch relay and um, I stood waiting for 10 minutes before the, the relay, the torch carrier came and there was four or five different floats came past of the sponsors blaring out music lots of um, sponsors messages and then the torch carrier came past and there was nothing there was no introduction to him no one said who he was he ran past got a lot of cheering but there was no context so there was 10 minutes of sponsor you know kind of promotions and then the poor the whole point of it just passed by with no introduction had to go home look up who it was found out who he was of my own accord and you know he, he was um, you know, he was quite a, an impressive guy when I read what he'd done, but there was no introduction to him, and I just, after after 10 minutes of sponsorship kind of promotions, to then, to then, you know, the whole point of it not really coming out, I thought that was really sad, and I, I agree, yeah, it's it's sponsors Olympics, they they help it to happen, but they really do get their control fair it. share, yeah. And, and I think it's our IOC. You know, it's just them as a money-making scheme and it, it's not really what the whole idea of Olympics and the sport, the idea of all the sports coming together and everything that those athletes strive for. I just think it's about them as an enterprise and as a business, making money every time, building it up from scratch in a new city. And there's no knowledge sharing, there's no, this is what we did in Beijing, this is what we did somewhere else and it worked really well. You know, there's all of that information just goes to waste. So. Sport's dead good though and I like sport and it's great that people are doing stuff so we don't want to be yeah. completely negative. Yeah, I think the Olympics negative. are great but I just think they're heading in the wrong direction. I think they're losing their way slightly. I'm sure that Baron Pierre de Corbatin would be turning in his grave. So what would be your advice for uh, future yeah. Olympics hosts yeah. that are thinking about the Belgian well, I don't think they have a choice. That's the problem. If you want to host the Olympics, you have to sign up to the, the mandate given to you by the IOC and I think that to get the games here in the first place they have had to as you say put in legislation they've had to make sure that they have bowed down to the greater powers which are the great you know the corporate monsters out there that are saying you know you have to do xyz in order to get the games here in the first place so to get them here to boost our economy to have the honor of hosting the games you have to do that you have to fit into that slot i don't think there's a possibility of any city being able to get around that because they're always going to be bigger than any city i think